Hey, what's up, YouTube? What's up, burritos? Welcome to another countdown quickie where I give you a trending topic in a jiffy. No, I have several topics to talk about, you know, people. I am so excited. I can't wait to get into it. But first up, Nicki Minaj. The rap queen, hip hop queen, Nicki Minaj has now um, followed all three of PTR. That is pretty pretty TC and dancing rebel. She she started following them yesterday. Or is it today on Instagram? And this is definitely a good look. This is a good look. I am very excited. I love everything about this. Run, got this, girl. Give Nikki Minaj a hundred meter. Give Nikki a hundred meter. Give Nikki a hundred meter. Right, go. But right about no, right about no, me I wonder why. Because Nikki not just make them moves here just so. Something have to be in a something. Maybe she is considering, you know, having them as, you know, dancers in an on, on, on upcoming project. That would be great. That would be great for all of these girls. And I'm just here for it. But I low-key feel that Nicki Minaj, she's very in tune with, with what is going on in Jamaica. Um, we saw during the Olympics that, you know, she posted up the girls. Um, after the one, two, three that happened um in Tokyo. Um, we see when she tweeted out Megan. Megan, Megan Tapa on her third place in the 100 meter hurdles for women and we also see her posting up and she was posting up some things where it make you wonder Nikki live in Jamaica because she have the thought them she have the current thought them and I am thinking this is this is what I'm thinking that Nikki Minaj has started watching um, PTR ends on YouTube. I think she's been following up and then she'll learn to talk them. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if tomorrow Nicki Minaj start to talk about the doll them and this and that and the doll them. Yeah, you, yeah, girl. I feel like at that shadow, she has been, you know, keeping an eye, you know, on these girls and I get them talk, I get them little language, them little flair and all of this excitement. I'm not invite to look nowhere again. <laughs> I am trying to just not be messy and mention anything about Spice and the fact say, you know, let me just leave that right there. So because Spice at this moment, Spice are focused on other things and, and making a post about people who very ungrateful and yeah, 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 you know, the little Spice way. But, you know, it's a good look for the dancers them and I just can't wait to see if, you know, they will actually appear in a music video. So fingers crossed. Anyhow, so let me just hop over to another topic. Um, This topic now has to do with Shelly and Fraser Price. Now, Shelly and Fraser Price posted this tweet um, online and, you know, it said Paris 2024. Hmm. Snow. If you are follow up with track and field news, you know, um, <laughs> Nicki Minaj, you know, so Shelly and Fraser Price has been teasing, basically saying that she was planning to retire after the world championships in 2022. Now, with this Paris 2024, she is now, I guess, like, you know, speculating and trying to figure out, um, why not go for another couple of years? Like, she will be 35 years old this year. And so by 2024, she will be, what, 30, 30 37? Hey, Merlin actually did a run when she was 38. This is if she, as long as she is running below 10, um, 10.80, I think she will be competitive enough. So I would wish her the best and for just run until your time no longer make it competitive. That is my suggestion. So what do you have to say about this burritos more of here in the comments right about no. Also, I'm going to head over to this entire talk. This boy oh boy. I mean if you want to jump into it. But this whole entire idea is Shensia, um, you know, selling her soul. Did she sell her soul for being a Kanye West um, album danda? Is that what she has been up to? Um, many people online are speculating and then you have some disgusting people who insist on really attaching the girl's name to, you know, the death of her mother. And now apparently there is rumors and people saying things about, you know, her son is up next. Like all of these bloggers and vloggers who are saying these things like, when, 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 when humanity, when in the heart, you know, why, why not for go below the belt like this and be so you know some messy just completely messy in the way how you bring about information like come on man and i'm very happy that um shensia you know took to to, to to online to really address the naysayers and this is what she said can't say i sell my pure so they say i sold my soul mm, i'll take it 
Now she even went under the comment and say, y'all stay saying I sacrificed my mom and I'ma do my son next. God's watching y'all and she put the prayers up emoji. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I'm gonna like them type of talk there and I do get it, you know, I do get it when you look on it and people have, you know, their reservations as it relates to Kanye West and people thinking that his entire Christianity, um album that he put was just for show and now he's doing an album done that, that is low-key demonic and you know you see the you see the of visuals for run and some of it might be you know yeah you know and um and then you see her on stage sharing a stage with the baby and marlin manson i get all of that but at the end of the day i think you have to be very careful when you make these speculations and basically saying that she sell her soul and for things that should go up through some ritual and all of these things but there's another side to it where selling your soul mean in terms of whatever your value system is and so maybe shensia does not have an issue with kanye's utterance and this is a young girl now thinking that you have somebody a staple in the music industry giving her giving her a space and a platform to showcase her talent like big man thing like most most of y'all would actually take this opportunity and so if that means quote unquote selling our soul then you know to to, to to you know lower alone man like people talent can speak for them and it's not everything you need for go put this because what it does is diminishes the person's talent when you focus on all of these other things it's almost you make it look like say shouldn't bring nothing to the table and all she's there for is for just be a body and that is not the case because all of us know that um Shensia is incredibly talented now let me just wrap up with the final thing that there will be another opportunity to see shakari now shakari will be going in another diamond league event this time it is a 200 meters and she will be facing off with our very own um sharika jackson now elaine thompson was supposed to no, oh, oh. now elaine thompson was supposed to be a part of the event but she pulled out so guess that the girl in fatigue so sharika will be the only only the sole jamaican representing for um the, you know for us and so i'm looking forward to it my already see shakari start up back with her antics and she made this post on her social media um basically saying she's choosing violence so i do not know what this means if she's saying that she's going to murder the track but we can only hope now this time i'm hoping that she finishes better than last place because we know the girl talented and we want to bring the competition because the competition is only going to be better for the other competition competitors are uh, people in the lineup well that is it in our burritos we've come to the end of this countdown quickie you know this is a segment where i give you a trending topic in a jiffy now this time or several um, trending topics hope that you enjoyed it if you did do the usual leave a comment talk about the topics and the things that we did, uh, you know discuss as well as to share and you know subscribe because i'm trying to head to the 300 000 subscriber mark take care you know until the next time i talk about something random Ta -ta! <laughs>